What's up boys, and welcome back to the basics. Today we're going to go over some of the most basic features of Blender. Now obviously we've gone over downloading Blender and a rough layout of the viewport, so we should probably talk about how to like, you know, actually use it, yeah? Start off by opening Blender and clicking off the first little ad that pops up. Let's just start by figuring out how to move. Hold the middle mouse button and drag to pan your camera around. Hold shift while doing that to move your camera in place, and scroll to zoom in and out. Oh, 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 oh yeah. You can also click and drag this global axis up here to move around. This may all feel weird at first compared to the WASD movement in game engines, but you'll get used to it pretty quickly. Another useful movement tool is the 2D views in Blender. They just set your viewport at a perfect 2D view to the mesh you've selected, which can be insanely useful for modeling. You can press numpad 1 for a side 2D view, numpad 3 for the other side side 2D view, and numpad 7 for a top 2D view. Or, you can just press any side of the global axis. And of course, to exit the 2D view, you can just start panning your camera around. Alright, now let's go over how to import meshes. Start by pressing A to select everything in your viewport, and then delete to destroy all of it. Now press Shift A, Mesh, and Cube. And bam, skadoosh, you've created a cube. It's your cube now. You can feed it, water it, read its stories, and raise it as your own. Okay, now let's try the same thing, but cylinder. Now right after you import a mesh, this little menu is going to pop up on the left. If you click on it, you can change up some of the basic properties of the mesh. For the cylinder, the most important one is definitely the side count. You can mess around with it as much as you want. Just don't make it look boring. Same thing, but spheres. Low poly spheres. The start of the donut tutorial. <laughs> Also, if you press tab with any of these meshes selected, it'll take you into edit mode, where you can practice using these modeling tools on the left. The biggest thing when it comes to using Blender is just getting better at replicating what you see. I encourage you all to pull up Google, find something sick, and just try recreating it in Blender. Mess around with these tools as much as you need to, just do the best you can. Don't look up any tutorials the first couple times though. Figuring things out for yourself is the key to understanding anything. That's actually how I taught myself how to edit videos. I watched maybe two or three tutorials, and then for hours and hours, I just tried to recreate the effects I was thinking about in my head. I would also encourage you all to practice the viewport movements. Use all the 2D tools, move your camera around, and do it until you don't even have to think about it. And, like the viewport movement features, everything else in Blender just takes practice to get good at. So, go forth and practice everything you learned in this video. Try to figure things out for yourself, but if you really get stuck, be sure to check out my other tutorials. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for today, so I guess I'll see you all later.